so I think within the space that what's most exciting right now is our ability to make radioactive iodine work better. For 50 years we've said go on a low iodine diet and use TSH to stimulate. But there's some really exciting work going on now that we can block these pathways that cause thyroid cancer. The MAP kinase and the BRAF, the RAS, those pathways that we know cause thyroid cancer, those pathways also shut off the ability of the tumor to concentrate radioactive iodine. So there are several groups, including ours now, saying, well, let's put somebody on one of those inhibitors for maybe a month. Not for necessarily a tumor tumorcidal effect, but a month to shut that pathway off to see if we can make those tumors grab back onto radioactive iodine. And we've been very successful doing that. So I think this whole definition of how we use radioactive iodine over the next five years is gonna change. Patients that we thought radioactive iodine no longer worked for, we just needed a better way to do it. Because this is such a wonderful targeted therapy. It hits directly at the cancer and causes very few off-target effects. So I think we're going to see not only a move toward all of the new targeted therapies with sort of their oncologic outcomes, but using many of these same drugs to see if we can truly improve the efficacy of radioactive iodine and put that right back up front with how we're used to using it and optimizing its use.